Hi guys, thank you so much for tuning into my channel today. I hope you enjoy this video. As you can see, I did a dark green smoky eye. Um, I'm in New Orleans, so we're getting ready for Mardi Gras and the different Mardi Gras balls. So I was feeling a little bit festive. Of course, I used my lace glitters and I just went crazy. So hopefully this look inspires you just as much as it did me. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments, please leave it in the box below. And I hope you enjoyed this full face tutorial. Thank you, and I'll see you next time. So I'm going to start off with this deep orange as my transition color. And I'm just using my blending brush just to blend it back and forth in a crease. Now I'm going to use this dark green color from my Anastasia palette. And I'm using a smaller brush, buffer brush, just to buff that green in the lower part of my crease area. And I'm going to keep going back and forth windshield wiper motion just to that blends as much as possible but still have a strong color payoff. Now I'm going back in with my transition color to blend the edges of that dark green. shadow primer so I'm going to cover my entire lid with it just a sheer coat of it and I'm going to blend it until it's all blended and it's no harsh line here I'm going to use a dark green shimmer shadow and place on top of it. What this does is help give the color a bolder, richer effect. Again, this shadow is from my Anastasia palette as well. Now I'm using my lace glitter glue and applying just in the center of my eye. And because I want a sheer coverage of glitter, I'm going to pat it out with my finger just to make it smooth and even. And now I'm lightly pressing the glitter with the same brush on top of my eye. Not too much, but I'm just picking up a little bit of glitter and lightly placing it on top of the glue. Now I'm going in with my dark shadow again, the same dark green shadow, and lining the bottom rim of my eyes. And I just keep blending until I get the coverage of color that I want and until it's well blended. Now I'm going in with my black gel liner by Ruby Kits in the waterline area. I'm going back with my transition color just to buff that dark green out underneath the eye area. Give it a smooth transition once I put on my concealer. Here I'm putting on my lashes and of course I'm using weed glue so don't judge me but I love it because it's black and once I put it on my eye, it dries instantly. I'm using my tweezers and there I go, putting it on in the middle using a scooping motion. And now I'm just pressing each end down lightly with the tweezers. Here I'm using my Mary Kay foundation, which is my favorite, along with my Morph buffer brush. As you see in my other videos, I'm just lightly buffing in my foundation in circular motion just to get an even, smooth application.
here I'm going in with my Studio Finish Concealer in the color NC35. This color is like two to three shades lighter than my skin tone, but I'm going to do it because I'm going to show you how I'm going to balance it out to make it not too bold. I'm going to use my Pro Conceal in the color Toffee, which is closer to my skin tone, to blend on top of it so I can get a nice color and coverage and I can still have a highlighted area but not too highlighted not too bold it still looks natural so instead of me over blending I'm just going to use that color toffee to help blend in the highlight stippling until it's blended evenly. Here I'm going to use my MAC Studio Finish foundation and I'm using a smaller brush just to contour the sides of my nose. If you can tell, I'm lightly doing it because once again, I want to add just, just a little because I don't want to add too much and have to take it off. I'd rather add a little bit and just keep adding the more I need. As I'm putting it on, I'm blending it at the same time. Now I'm just going back and blending in my highlight on the bridge of my nose. Here I'm going on the side of my cheeks, blending with the beauty blender and just keep blending until I don't see any harsh lines. Now I'm going in with my contour powder from the crayon case and I'm just lightly dusting it over my cream contour just to give it an even more blended look. And I'm doing the same thing on the contour that I put on my nose. Now I'm going in with the crayon case Watch Me Blush Palette and using their bronzy blush. And I'm adding that right on top of my contour, just a little bit higher up. But I do want the two to seamlessly blend. Now I'm going in with my Sasha Banana Powder underneath my eye area to set my concealer so it does not crease. And then just to give me more of a matte highlight area. Here I'm going in with my Anastasia Glow Palette and I'm doing it just right on the high plane of my cheekbone. As well as the bridge of my nose just in the middle area of it. Just a little bit on the tip of my nose but not too much. Adding my concealer to pop out those bottom lashes. Something we tend to forget about, but it makes the biggest difference in the world. Just want to highlight my tear ducts just a little bit. Precise brush and I'm just hitting the high plane of my brow bone just a little bit just to give it a little bit more emphasis of course the cupid's bow of my lip I'm gonna highlight that just a little bit now I'm gonna set everything with a translucent powder from that it's just a white sheer translucent powder but what it's doing is setting 
all of my foundation that I use and it's also blending everything in together. Here I'm lining my lips with the crayon case uh, lip pencil and this is like a dark brown color. I don't have the exact name of it but it's really pretty. So I'm going to line the lips and then fill them in just a little bit more so I can have them blended. everything is even. Now I'm going in with my liquid matte lipstick from my line on Q Makeup which you can find at onqmakeup.com and I'm going just in the middle area now I'm blotting it so I can have the edges smooth and now I'm taking it towards the bottom part of my lip because I still want my lip to be nude but underneath I want that brown liner to seep through just so it can give it a little bit of an ombre effect. Now I'm going in with the crayon case lip gloss and applying over on top of all of it. And there we have it, we're finished. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you next time. Thank you.